Good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope you have something fun planned for today. I am here this morning with uh, a little follow-up to, to uh, my post yesterday where I showed um, or shared the release candle with you and we talked about a ritual around releasing what may have come up uh, this week or since the full moon we have a new moon on Tuesday the 22nd and um, Actually, maybe that's Wednesday. It might be Wednesday. Anyway, the 22nd uh, is the new moon. And so once you have released what's no longer serving you, you would like ideally to replace that with something that is serving you and that would be beneficial to you and that you desire to call into your life. So um, I'm a huge believer in the uh, alchem alchemy of the elements. So fire, water, earth, and air. I particularly have an affinity for fire itself and water. So those two ends of the spectrum. So as a follow-up to the release ritual that included fire, you could also use water to release. So you can take um, a shower with the intention of washing everything away that's no longer serving you. You could take a swim in a pool or the ocean if that's available to you. Um, you know, even just washing your hands, it's all about the intention surrounding it. You know, the intention to fully release and be fully present in the moment when you are releasing. So that's just another option for you if the fire aspect doesn't feel right to you or it's just not something you are able to do. Um, if you are able to do um, the fire, I recommend to tune in to what would be benefit beneficial to you going forward and to call in some really beautiful magic for the new moon and this next lunar cycle. Um, obviously just get quiet and still tune into your body uh, feel into where in your body you would like to show a little bit of love to it so when you're sitting quietly and you're thinking about the future some place in your body is going to react um, it may be like in your lower belly when you're concerned or worried about um, the global crisis that's currently happening it could be your heart feels a little anxious and racy and so just pay attention to those two, you know, those areas. It could be your mind is going um, a mile a minute and just shine a little bit of love there. So imagine a pink light coming in and kind of swirling around whatever area that is and imagine that it's just uh, healing it. Kind of like, um, you know, if you have kids like you do when they're sick, you just kind of hold them, nurture them, take care of them. Um, it's it's the same sort of sentiment and the same sort of energy and then once you've done that feel into and think about what you would like to bring into your life going forward um, maybe it's a sense of peace maybe it's um, you know more money because right now that's not coming in maybe it's you know more clients maybe it's um, you know a better uh, method of communicating with people maybe you're having trouble communicating with with your co-workers or maybe your spouse so just really feel into what would alleviate the sense of um, imbalance in whatever area that you paid attention to that kind of lit up when you got quiet and fo focused in on your inner self and when you're doing that during that process if you light a candle to alchemize the process that is a beautiful practice so I showed this candle shared this with you guys a while ago it's been a few months now the, the fuck yeah candle I love this candle I burn it very sparingly um, it's kind of like my magic tool that I use when I'm really looking to call in some incredible things if I'm starting a new project um, I lit this when I uh, started really focusing in strongly on my book and uh, actually one of my books and so it's just it's one of those um, candles to me that's like really magical and it's also from a really good friend of mine so it's got like a lot of great um, high vibe energy in it so it's just really fun so if you have a candle like one maybe that smells really amazing or one that you just absolutely love that's the perfect candle to bring into your 
um, manifestation practice, your manifestation ritual. So I would light the candle, get quiet and still, tune into your body, see where you're feeling a little off balance, um, shine a little love there, a little pink light, um, and then feel into what, what would uh, make you feel a lot more vibrant. What would, um, what would you like to call into your life? What will heal or um, up level that part of your body, that emotion that's coming up to um, create a sense of peace or joy or um, abundance in your life? So hopefully that is helpful to you. So we're releasing and then we're filling that in with really amazing, gorgeous things. Um, if abundance is something that uh, is important to you right now or something that you really lo would love to call in, last week um, for the intermission journal packs, I shared um, five days of abundance focused questions and so it might be just what you need if you missed last week it's still available on my blog at karmickindness.com and you can just scroll through the blog and find intermission week three journal pages I also have week one and two available too um, week two was around um, uncertainty and um, week one I was just kind of like getting my feet under me on that one so it was just a kind of a mix of things and uh, I'll be sharing the week five, four um, journal pack theme tomorrow so I wish you all a beautiful day and uh, get out there and release and bring in call in some really amazing magical stuff and I will be here tomorrow morning um, all right I will talk to you then Bye for now. Remember, we all learn from one another.